guys, it's Joanna here. Today, I'm going to introduce to you one of my favorite East Asian foods, tofu. Some consider this as a superfood. Some don't even think of this as food and consider this harmful to the body. Where do I stand with this? Well, coming from an Asian upbringing, I've only experienced and heard about the health benefits of tofu. So, my parents' friends run a serving business. Their daughters consume serving on a daily basis. They have really beautiful complexion. My grandmother uses tofu as a face mask to help nourish her skin and to slow down the aging process. So, I am definitely for tofu. Ladies, if you want smooth and youthful complexion, eat tofu. Tofu is packed with many nutrients. It is a complete source of protein to vegans. It is high in protein, very easy to digest, excellent source of calcium, vitamin B and iron, especially for ladies, very low in calories, which is great for weight loss. I can go on and on about the health benefits of tofu, but let's get to know the different types of tofu and four creative ways you can eat tofu. Well, if you have tried tofu and you think it's rather blunt and uninteresting, don't worry, you're not alone. The truth is, it is rather tasteless on its own, but that's the beauty because you can do anything with it. Just think of this as a sponge. Basically, it takes on the flavor of whatever you cook it with. So, there are many different types of tofu. Let's get to know the more common ones. So, you have silken tofu, soft tofu, firm tofu, and extra firm tofu. Let's start with silken tofu, which is what I have in my hand. It has a silky smooth custardy texture. It has the highest water content. It is the most delicate of your tofu types, which makes it not suitable for cooking. Silken tofu works very well in creamy and blended foods, such as smoothies, desserts, puddings, salad dressings, dips, and can be used as an egg replacement in baking. Some of you might also come across soft tofu. So to keep things less confusing, soft tofu is slightly less smooth, has a slightly thicker texture, but can be used in the same way as silken tofu. Next, firm tofu. Firm tofu is most commonly used in cooking. It absorbs flavors really well. It can be stir-fried, pan-fried, simmered, and braised. It makes a great substitute for ricotta cheese and eggs in cooking. And the fourth one, extra firmed tofu. It has a very solid texture. It has the lowest water content, holds its shape well, and it is excellent for any kinds of frying, grilling, or baking. Just think of firm tofu as a meat substitute. In fact, Chinese vegetarian restaurants tend to use extra firm tofu to create thick meats in their cooking. So the more dense a tofu is, the higher protein content it will have, and also it will be higher in calories. So I'm going to share with you four creative ways you can use tofu to pretty much make anything. So let's start with silken tofu. It's perfect to be added into smoothies. If you're on a dairy-free diet, Silken tofu is a great substitute for milk or yogurt in smoothies. The creamy texture will thicken the smoothie as well. For my cup of smoothie, I've blended quarter cup of silken tofu, one cup of frozen fruits, half a cup of water, and half a tablespoon of maple syrup. This thick, creamy, and satisfying smoothie is only 120 calories. Have you been dreaming of a guilt-free dessert? Well, silken tofu is your answer. It can be used to replace cream in most cream-based desserts such as cakes, puddings, mousse, and even soups. It will seriously slash the calories by more than half. So I've made my chocolate mousse dessert with only four ingredients. One pack of silken or soft tofu, quarter cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, two tablespoons of maple syrup, and one and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Blend all the ingredients in a food processor. Pour into three dessert bowls and chill in the fridge for one to two hours or until slightly firm. I've topped my very healthy chocolate mousse dessert with some strawberries, blueberries, and also chopped pistachios. This dessert tastes just as good, if not even better than your traditional chocolate mousse, which calls for a lot of heavy cream. 
This one serving made with tofu only has 96 calories versus 300 calories using the traditional recipe. Now that's saving more than 200 calories. That's a lot of calories, especially if you're watching your waistline. So if you want to indulge in dessert, of course you can. Just make them with healthy option. Up for silken tofu. Another calorie buster is sauces, dips or dressings. Sometimes you might have a good intention of eating well, but without realizing you're packing on hidden calories from your salad dressings or dips. Here are some examples of high calorie dressings. It is absolutely shocking. Basically the word creamy means high calorie salad dressing. So what I'm going to show you is how to make a ranch dressing with only 10 calories per tablespoon. Not 73, but 10 calories. The ingredients you'll need are one cup of silken tofu, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, dried shives, dried parsley and smoked paprika, one tablespoon of lemon juice and salt and pepper to taste. Puree all the ingredients in a food processor until you get a smooth and consistent texture. So you're still getting the creaminess of a dressing from the silken tofu infused with all the herbs and spices. Dip and munch away. This tastes so good without the extra calories. You got to try it. And finally, what can we do with firm or extra firm tofu? Easy. Just think of it as replacing eggs or meat in recipes. So I'm going to show you a really quick stir-fried tofu scramble which can be eaten for breakfast, lunch or dinner. It is so simple. This recipe calls for three elements. First, your tofu which is the main ingredient. Any vegetables of your choice, make them colourful. And seasoning, this is to add flavours into the dish. So I've lightly stir-fried half a block of firm tofu crumble with garlic, spring onion, chilli, bell pepper, carrots and cherry tomatoes, seasoned with turmeric, ground cumin, smoked paprika and salt and pepper. It only takes 2-5 to five minutes to cook with tofu, depending on how brown you want it to be. This is such a big serving for less than 200 calories. You can choose to have it on its own or add it into tortilla, pita wrap, top it onto sandwich or serve it with a side of rice or noodles. The options are endless guys, I've only scratched the surface of what you can do with tofu. I hope this video has inspired you to give tofu a try and add this superfood into your recipes. I would love to see your tofu dish. So make it, snap a picture and tag me at Joanna so Official. And guys, if you're watching my video because you're passionate about healthy living, if you have considered on becoming a personal trainer because you would like to help others to get healthy and to transform people's lives, do check out the National Academy of Sports Medicine website and ASM because they are currently offering a 14-day free trial to their online personal training course. This course will provide you with all the necessary tools and knowledge to help you kickstart a successful fitness career. So if you're interested, link and more information is in my description box. Don't forget to like, share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly inspiration. All the best.